Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have some questions from my students. We're doing some forecasting, in this case using moving average and exponential smoothing, and students need to add some additional data series to their basic chart. Now here in this graph I've already created the, the chart and I've added the actual data points here in red, and it's just plotted against the months as the x-axis, and I prettied up the x-axis a little bit. I can show you how to do that in another video. But anyway, it's just plotting the actual values against the months here. Now I want to add in my moving average, the k equal 3 and the k equal 9. If you remember when we're doing moving average, we have some periods, some months in this case, that don't have a forecast value. If we just started selecting our range here at this first value, that would shift everything so that we'd be plotting, in this case, April against January. We don't want that. So we need to include these blank cells, these empty cells, in the range we select. And let me show you. I want to click inside my chart, make sure I've got the actual chart area selected, this section there. And then I'm going to right click, select data. And we bring up a dialog box here. And what I want to do is to add, and my series name, I'm going to go over here and click K equal 3. That's a, a cell I've already typed the label in. I want to go down to my series values. I want to delete information that's there. That's critical. And then we start here with this first cell, and we drag down to make sure that we've got all our data selected. And here we've got a one-month forecast added. So I'm going to click OK and click OK. Now let's look at our chart. Now whoops! Instead of plotting this zero and connecting it, which looks strange, I want to have these cells empty. And I thought they were empty. Well, what you may find out when you've been working with your spreadsheets for a while, it may appear to be empty, but there may be something in there that you don't know about that Excel sees. So one way of doing that is to click in a cell and hit the delete and I'm going to delete again and delete again and that gets rid of the empty cells to make sure they're there. Now what I like to do, because it helps me for a number of reasons, is to make sure that those are empty and I'm, not, I'm plotted them correctly. I'm going to click in there and I'm going to put a function equal in A. Now that returns a error value, NA, and we can make sure that Excel sees that properly. I'm going to click on that, and it gives me the first part. You've got to add the closing parentheses, shift parentheses, enter. And then I'm going to drag that down to make those first three cells, to make it obvious, one, that I want to include that when I do my plot, and secondly, I don't want it to show up. Well, how do we make sure Excel doesn't plot that. Go back in here, click on our plot data again, right click, select data, go down here to empty, empty cells, and let's make sure that we click show NA cells as empty, and the default of course is gaps. We don't want to plot anything there, and hit OK. And that will make sure that when we plot any cell that's got an NA function, it will plot as a blank. Okay, let's add the k equal 9 moving average series. I want to start by making sure these are empty. And the way I want to do that again is use my NA. I'm just going to drag it over, copy that there, and then I'm going to drag it down to fill those nine blank months with an NA. Then we go into our chart, left click it, right click it, select data. We're going to add series name, I'm going to click into that cell that I put k equal 9, series values, delete the stuff that's there, start with my first month and drag it all the way down to the bottom, including that one month forecast that we have, click OK, click OK, and if we scroll up there we can see we've added our k equal 9, let me click out of there so you can see a little better, uh, our month, and it shifted appropriately so that we don't that we know that this month is, corresponds to that month. Hope that helps.